Hello everyone, Anthony Vasekia, Body Crafters Inc. here with Scratch Golf Academy. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a couple fitness drills that are gonna help with your hips, some rotation and some glute strength. I'm gonna actually use bands. So if you've used any of these, some people call them super bands, but these long bands that you'll see in most of the, most of the time in the gym. Um, what I did is I just tied two of them together here, and then I tied the other end around the pole down here to do most of these drills. This first one, it won't be that hard, but with this amount of weight, but for the rest, this will work. You could go a little bit heavier or just use one band for this first exercise that I'm gonna do. And the first one is going to be a kneeling hip extension. So I put a pad down here on the floor for my knees. You're going to step into your band, put it right here around your waist and then drop down to your knees. What we're working on here, and I'm gonna move off to the side so you can see as well, but what we're working on here is trying to get to that extension through your golf swing, what we call in most sports is more of a triple extension, and I'll demonstrate that real quick standing. A triple extension is if I'm going to jump, I'm going to extend through my hips, I'm going to extend my feet, and then I'm going to also extend my back. So triple extension is in golf when you get to this position, you're in triple extension, not necessarily on every single joint because that ankle's not at it, but all the rest is on this on the trail side. So that would be triple extension in golf. It's most guys in golf, when they're not hitting with power, they'll get through and they're using a lot of upper body and they never really use that glute strength to get through to extension. So everything today is going to work on that. So back down to this drill. This is going to be kneeling hip drives or a hip extension. You'll see some people doing them on a bench with a bar across their waist and they're doing hip thrusts. So this is just a way you can do it with a band and hold that position without so much weight or so it's so hard to get into. That's why I said you can make this with much heavier bands than what we're gonna, I'm using here. So for this, you're just gonna drop back to your heels and extend forward. And I say hold that fully extended position as much as you can here. It's not about arching your back, it's about pushing your glutes forward or your hips forward as much as you can and getting your glutes tight. Uh, some people will take this a little bit further and they'll put the band around their knees too. So their uh, gluteus medius will become a little bit more engaged in this position. So we're gonna drop our heels back to our heels and press up, drop our hips, our rear end down to our heels and press up again. So I'm gonna go off at an angle here. Obviously it's gonna be pulling me a little off to the side, but we're going to drop back and extend through. So I only came this way so you can see it, but you'd like it coming straight off that anchor right now. I'm kind of at an angle, but I just wanted you to see the position that I'm getting into. And then you go all the way to the top. So that's the first one. That is a kneeling hip extension or uh, hip thrusts from a kneeling position. Now for the next one, we're going to do what's called a hip drive. I like to call these hip drives. This can be used in baseball. This can be used in golf, anything rotational. So whatever side I want to train first. So if I want to train my right side a little bit more where my right leg is going to be the trail leg, I'm going to put my right leg in. I'm going to twist and the outside of this band is going to go over my rear end. The other side's gonna go under, okay? So on top of my cheek, below my cheek. And we're going to wrap ourselves all the way up in this position. And from here, I don't want you to move your head. Say you're set up to the ball here. I want you to try to stay there and just drive your hip. And so if you wanna hold a club, you can do that impact fix that I've showed in other videos where you just set up to it and you do that forward press and push off that trail foot. So coming off to the side, you'll be in this position and you'll just be pushing. Okay, but again, you don't wanna be where it's dragging me back this much because I'll lose my balance, so you wanna come off. I just want you to be able to see. So again, these are hip drives. You'd wanna do about 10 to 15, then you're gonna switch legs because you wanna work both sides. But ideally, you do a little bit more on the right if you're a right-handed golfer, a little bit more on the left if you're a lefty. Roll yourself up and hit the other side as well. But keep your head down. Try not to move it too much and just get used to that halfway down your backswing to impact position. Okay, so back to the right side again. See, I already messed up. Make sure you get in there right this way, lift, turn. All right, and again, just get there and keep getting to that position over and over again and really pushing. And if you want to feel like you're starting that downswing into that little lunge, that little lunge forward and then keep your head still and rotate through. 
Okay, so those are hip drives. And for your last one, we're gonna do a full rotation with your entire body. I like to keep it very low just for this reason, so it's around your hips and your shoulders. So if you wanna go right-handed, you wanna put your right shoulder in, always facing away from it at first, because what you wanna do is you always wanna wrap it around your back. Just like on the last one, you wanna wrap it around your rear end first. Some people will go this way and they get all mixed up, gonna go across the front. You don't wanna do that. So start facing away from your ankle anchor, wrap behind you, okay, and then keep wrapping all the way. Now you can finish, and if you want to, again, you can hold a club and do kind of like a punch or a half swing, and it's the same thing. We're going to go all the way through, but now since it's on your shoulder, allow it to turn you and get you into a little bit more of a back swing here so you can get a little bit of a stretch, load up that trail leg a little bit, and then swing through. Okay, so these are three Really, really good exercises just to help with some rotational power to get more power coming from that trail leg to the lead leg to get your glutes a little bit more involved in the golf swing as well um, and to get that extension through the target. So just like I did on all the others, make sure that your main goal here is to, just like it is on all these drills today, is to push and get that hip extended as far as you can through the target. Okay, I don't wanna see you doing this. Again, I want your hips really driving, pushing hard off that trail foot and really pushing through. And let's not allow our hips to move forward this way. Let's keep it back. And if you want to put a chair behind you, back up to it where you only got an inch gap between your rear end and that chair and make sure you bump that chair every time you get down to impact. That's also gonna help so you don't get an early extension while you're still working on getting power through the target. Please subscribe, please. Hit the like button so you can get notifications. Uh, comment. Give me some other options of anything else that you guys might want to see. I'd love to give you more. Take care.